Hi, it's Lois here and welcome back. Today we'll be painting this snow la snowy landscape with a church in the distance. Um, it's another one of my viewer request videos, um, having a go at incorporating buildings. Now I have wet the paper all the way to the horizon already and it's Milford 140 pound uh, cold press paper. Now I'm taking a mixture of Prussian blue, indigo and sepia and I'm sweeping it across the page, across the wet paper and allowing it to diffuse. Um, I'm picking up quite a lot of paint. Uh, I'm not really sure what sort of sky I want at the moment. I'm just going to put the paint on and see what happens. It's a bit lumpy there so try and spread it out a bit. Yes, maybe just bring it down, soften, soften it near the horizon and more paint across the top now because it's really drying a lot lighter. I think that's the thing with Milford. It Milford paper does dry quite light because it absorbs um, quite a lot of the paint. But it's lovely paper, it's one of my favourites to paint on. Just put in a bit of foreground, clean up the horizon a little bit, lighten it up. Right, water, water across the top because I'm not happy with the way it's looking at the moment. So I'm just putting some water across, letting it run down and take the paint with it. See if we can get a nice, reasonably smooth wash so that we end up with a, a nice uh, grey sky without too much drama. Just tipping it on one side, uh, just to help the paint to stop running down. And now, as you can see, it's looking, it's looking quite, quite smooth and quite nice. Just use the Hake brush to pull up distant trees. They're diffusing into the background. A few sweeps across the foreground. Um, nothing sort of too purposeful. Let's just see what we end up with and what it looks like. Um, I'm going to dry it flat now because the paint was really running down as you can see now. It's been running right down and we've actually lost a lot of the distant trees. So I'm going to get some heavier paint because the paper's still wet. It's still wet enough. Um, and just put some thicker paint in so that I keep some stronger distant trees. Trying to vary the shape a little bit so it doesn't look too too samey or like a row of lollipops. Put some further away there. I think that's a bit a bit dark. I'm going to try and lighten that a little bit. Oops. Can you see what's happened? Um, that was much too much too wet and it caused a cauliflower straight away. So I'm just gonna to have to get rid of that and and, and hope that I can sort that area out when it's when it's dry at the moment if I'd left that on there that was so wet it just would have run into the whole sky and ruined that corner of the painting as it is um, I've wiped it clean and just putting a little bit of quite dry paint on there and hopefully I'll be able to as I say go back and do something with that to improve the look of it a little bit later if things go wrong, um, try not to worry, still enjoy things. Remember what Bob Ross said, you know, it's, there's no such thing as mistakes, they're just happy accidents. Um, and the worst that can happen is that you waste a piece of paper, but you will have learned something from it. Right, the tips of the brush, uh, just to create suggestions of hedgerows. 
because I've decided that I want to put a fence in now just to sort of so that this the front the foreground looks like the edge of a field just going to use the um, the rigger brush and paint in some fence posts try and keep them sort of a bit uneven too even and it'll end up looking a bit too regimented we want to make it look as if some of them are growing up out of the un out of the the bushes um, some are sort of leaning over a little bit make them smaller and closer together as you get towards the the right and then it looks like they're um, going off into the distance just make sure they're dark enough join them up with careful not too careful sweeps but in sweeps of um, so it looks like the fence is joined either by uh, planking or, or rope or something like that wire just using the squirrel mop just to create a little tiny bit of shadow underneath the fence and to soften it back a bit now I'm just going to put in strengthen up those those trunks of the distant trees in the middle I don't want too much detail there but just enough just to sit them in front of the trees next to them which we want those to look just a little bit further back this is a three quarter inch flat brush but it's a little bit too big for putting in the church so I've got a smaller brush I think it's about a quarter of an inch uh, maybe a third of an inch and that's better I'm just going to use the shape of the flat brush to carefully get in the geometric shapes that make up this church I don't know whether you could see but I have pen I had lightly penciled in the shape of the church and I'm just following the pencil line just think the steeple needs to be a little bit taller not much and a little bit straighter maybe so just get very carefully oh sorry sorry is my head and now just at the other end put in a hint of a sort of a porch that looks okay I think that's a nice nice focal point on the horizon now we're going to see if we can mend the damage right next to the church where I had the run back um, and had to wipe it off I'm going to use the Hake brush and just grab some palette grey a mixture of everything that was on the palette and just pull up some trees that are coming a little bit further forward than the church Just a few more. I think that that that'll do. Well, I think we've managed to save that, um, and here you can see cl closer in detail how how it's looking. Um, I think that's just about finished. Just a little bit of rigor work now to go um, on the trees on the left-hand side. I'm afraid I've didn't have the camera on but you can you can see that there's just simple lines to suggest the trees anyway thank you so much for joining me and I hope that was useful um, any questions please ask in the comments um, and if you enjoyed this tutorial then why not come and join me on patreon where there's lots and lots of exclusive videos being 
posted um, several times a week and we look forward to seeing you there um, if you want to join us if it's for you anyway thank you thanks very much again see you soon bye <laughs>